good evening friends so uh, i hope you all are well and you are studying well so till now we discussed the types of vegetative propagation natural methods artificial methods okay so now in this video we are going to and this topic that is asexual reproduction here we are going to discuss about significance of vegetative propagation okay and this is important topic for theory as well so we are going to discuss a point okay about the significance see first is significance of vegetative propagation and in this the very first point is see you all know in vegetative propagation we just we have various methods cutting budding grafting and in these methods all we need is a plant part okay and some bit of soil that is very easily available and other than that we need just a pot or a poly bag okay so if we can use the cutting of the plants it is widely available all these things are easily available to everyone so this method is very cheap and easy so first very first point of significance of vegetative propagation is that is it's easy and cheaper method okay now let's come to the next point so next point is in certain plants like banana pineapple as you can see in the uh, image back side of me and in the grapes so there is one common thing in all these plants and what is that see you all have noticed sometime or maybe always that these plants do not contain seeds okay so under natural conditions all these plants are unable to produce viable seeds so now if you all are very curious to know that if they don't produce seed how they propagate so the answer is yeah the answer is vegetative propagation so second point is the significance of vegetative propagation is that it helps to propagate those plants that are unable to produce viable seeds okay so first was it's easy and cheaper and the next is that's it helps for the propagation of those plants which are unable which do not produce viable seeds under natural conditions okay so only method is here vegetative propagation now next is where well, let's come to the next point that is genetically similar plants so through the process of micro propagation it's a technique we already read in vegetative propagation so in micro propagation we can produce genetically similar plants or improved varieties can be multiplied for the one second yeah so here we can produce improved varieties can be multiplied on same line for several generations what do you mean by that it means that through micro propagation we first generate a improved variety okay so if now if we have a improved variety now we can multiply it for the several generations and we can use this genetically similar plants okay so we have one improved variety and now for the several generations we can use this with the same uh, traits so this is the next important that it helps to produce genetically similar plants for many many generations okay now next is see this is a farm you all can see next point is yield can be increased and what do you mean by yield that we can produce improved varieties and through that we can produce high quality and high quantity of the crops so okay so in the, uh, this way yield can be increased and how this all happens this all happens by grafting high yielding variety on a stock of low yield variety okay so see what happens uh, in a certain conditions there are stocks but that stock is of wild variety and uh, the yield is very low of that stock now what we can do we can graft a skion of higher yield on that stock now uh, the benefit is that now as the stock is better resistant or better disease resistant better adapted to the environment now overall 
yield will be improved because we have skion of high yield okay and we have stock of disease resistant quality and also of better adapted to that environment okay so in this way we have high yield that is we can improve the quality through the high yield skion and we can improve the quantity because disease resistant and better adapted to the environment okay so next point is yield can be increased in this way by grafting now come to the next one see these are certain seeds and now you all know seeds have dormancy period okay now in uh, the crops which have seeds with dormancy longer dormancy period what we can do we need to do certain things to make these seeds viable and it will take time so what we can do we can have rapid propagation of plants through our method that is vegetative propagation okay so this is the next significance that in the plants with long dormancy period seeds we can do rapid propagation of plants through this method that is vegetative propagation okay now come to the next see what happens in grafting we can transfer the traits we can transfer the characters okay how how we can transfer this we can take a desired character of the stock and we can now transfer this character to the skion and which are the desired characters of the stock that are disease resistant and vigor okay so because it will have you know help to improve the yield or improve the quality and quantity so we can transfer these characters to the skion uh with the help of grafting because you all know in grafting both the plants will be uh, develop as a single plant so we can transfer these characters okay now as you can see here we can produce clones through our technique that is tissue culture technique or micro propagation so it will also help in the production of clones okay so we can not only uh, produce multiple clones of some regular plant but we can also produce the clones for the economically useful and rare plants so it is very helpful very essential for the production of certain plants that are economically useful and rare plants at a large scale okay so in this module we have seen the significance of vegetative propagation so let's just have a recap first is it is easy and cheap method okay and second is it helps to produce certain plants which do not produce viable seeds under natural conditions okay third is it helps to produce genetically similar plants for the many 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 generations next is yield can be increased by this method okay next is uh, in certain plants which have seeds with dormancy longer dormancy period we can uh, produce the plants through this technique uh, another is we can transfer the certain characters of the stock through grafting okay and uh, the last but not the least is we can have multiple clones we can have the production of clones at a very large scale of economically useful and rare plants okay so here we and this topic that is significance of vegetative propagation and in our next video we are going to start the sexual reproduction of flowering